Okay, we just 1050. 1050, uh, right here at the bridge. Get around the curve, I see the vehicle has hit a, a telephone pole. Pretty violent crash. Sutcliffe pulls in behind Payne, who's ordering everyone from the truck. Get on the ground now! Get on the ground now! They're surprised to find it's just four teenagers, and one has a bloody face from hitting the windshield. My initial reaction is the situation is diffused. As Payne heads for a medical kit, Sutcliffe tries to free a female from the crumpled truck. His assessment matches Payne's. I thought, okay, this is a bunch of dumb kids. Fun's over for them. At that moment, a third officer reaches the crash site. His name is Eric Barnett, and his presence will prove crucial. What the officers don't know is that these rampaging kids have been on a multi-state crime spree. And they're about to add Georgia to their hit list. Keep your hands where we can see them. Keep your hands where we can see them. No! Shot fired. Oh, officer in trouble. Officer in trouble. Shot fired. Keep your hands where we can see them. I just remember my arm being up next to my head, and my ears started to ring. Sutcliffe takes a direct hit. A second shot misses his face by inches. Kane draws the gunman's fire as Sutcliffe rolls into the woods. I knew Chris would be killed if, you know, if I didn't react in the right way. Barnett bravely runs straight into the line of fire. I, I don't remember pulling my weapon. I don't remember squeezing off the first five or six shots. Finally, the shooting stops. Barnett takes a moment to reload. Sutcliffe still lies bleeding in the woods. I had a vision of my wife at a funeral, and I thought, screw that, it's not going to happen. The officer finds the strength to escape. But Sergeant Payne knows this shootout isn't over. After Chris was shot, he dropped his, his service weapon. As Barnett tries to locate the suspect, the suspect locates the fallen gun. and opens fire. Barnett takes cover behind a tire and shoots back. Welcome the back, Bullets strike the man's legs and one glances off his head. He throws the gun aside and crumples in pain. Barnett slowly moves in, fearing the fugitive might have another gun. The sergeant overtakes the shooter. Officer Barnett receives a commendation for his courage in the line of duty. The shooter survives and gets 107 years for this blatant attempt on Chris Sutcliffe's life. <laughs>